and uh, I'd put the kids to bed and I was on the, uh, on the bed just, just saying, God, I'm desperate. Lord, I want to see you. You know, five minutes in the presence of God seeing his face, mm. <laughs> it, it changes my life. And I just began to say, God, I, I, and I began to pray and ask for different things. But then I started to get a cry out from my spirit and begin to say, Lord, what do I want? God, what do I want? You know my heart. What, what is it that I want? Because all my prayers just weren't sort of cutting it. And he says, you want to be loved. I went, oh, yeah. <laughs> and then God just came and visited with me. And my whole week was different. And he, he spoke to me and he challenged me to... He, he, he asked me to fast. As I, the prayer began to just come from my spirit. Lord, I want to know you. And, and the love of God just poured into my spirit. You see, I need the love of God every day. In order to give it out, I've got to overflow. And you can't overflow unless you continually drink, unless you continually receive. Everybody in the world wants to be loved. The, I was watching some of these dear old folk in the old people's home on Thursday and the nurse uh, gave one of the uh, ladies a hug and the other lady at the table said, oh, I'll have some of that too. And I, my, my heart just thought, you know, people just want to be loved. People just want to be loved. But, you know, nobody can love you. You can have the best husband, the best wife, the most wonderful family, but nobody can love you the way that you need and crave like the Spirit of God. Like God loves you. You are created to need the love of God. And uh, that when you cry out, God comes and he wants to fill you. But I said, Lord, more, more, more. I want more. I want more. I need more. I want more of you.